Hey everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. So this week we are continuing our discussion on CSS Grid with just a couple more properties you can apply to your overall grid as well as your individual grid items um, as a way to just have finer control over the position of those elements and, and everything. So once, as usual, once we get going, you'll see what I'm talking about. So a couple new properties we're gonna be talking about today is justifying and aligning. And you can see there's two little sections I've done here. So you can justify items, and this is applied to your whole container, and then all of the elements inside of that container are either justified or aligned, however you tell them. And then there's also justify self and align self, and this you apply to individual grid elements so you don't have to have them all aligned one way you can target individual ones and move them around as you please so and just a quick thing to remember here justify is side to side right like think left to right align is vertical it's up and down so we'll we can do both of these they're just different directions that's what's cool about grid is we can position things in two, two different directions, three dimensional. So, all right, I'm gonna close this up and show you what we are working with here. So this is actually just an extension of this grid site we were working with last week. Remember this one? I just went over here into the aside and this used to say services. I just made it say grid and it links over to this page. I got rid of the footer. This is the grid page right here we are looking at. So, um, Here's the header, I just minimized it. Here's the aside that I took the, all the navigation out. It was kind of busy, so we just can go back to home that way. And I removed the footer, it was just too much going on. And then as you can see, our main div right here has nine divs within it. They're just numbered, so we know what we're doing with them. And in our, oh, and I have an external style sheet. It was getting kind of long because I had the styles for the whole page. And then this is a second grid in here, which I will show you. So instead of just putting our styles in the head here, um, I linked to an external style sheet, which is right up here. Again, I just minimized the familiar styles from last week because we're not really going to be dealing with these. It's for the whole page. Here is what we're doing today. So that main div, which has all these little divs in it, I've already given the display grid. Um, I gave it a template column. So we're just going to have a three by three and a little grid gap. This grid area just refers to um, the main grid. Remember we did the grid template areas this way. So here's main. So we're not gonna be dealing with that again. That's just to explain what this is. And then all the divs inside of this main section, I just gave a nice background color, centered the numbers and um, made the decks color white. And then I have each section already targeted down here just to avoid some redundant typing later on. So a little bit of housekeeping, as you can see, it's just a three by three grid. Um, actually, before I get into justify and align, I'm gonna show you a little trick to control the row height, which is really nice. So it's just grid auto rows. Um, I'm just gonna do 100 pixels. So this means they're all gonna be 100 pixels high. You can do, probably a better practice would be to use something called min max, um, where the first thing you enter is the minimum and then it's typical practice to put auto here so that if you get a ton of content in one of these, it'll stretch down with it. So just to quick demonstrate what I mean, if I had it set to 100 pixels, but then, you know, actually I'm gonna grab some, some lorem ipsum here, um, just to fill it up and show you what I mean. So I'm gonna grab this whole paragraph and if I paste that in here you see it kind of gets cut off here because I told this whole row do not be higher than a hundred pixels but if back in our styles we do the min max minimum of hundred pixels but if it's longer you know adjust automatically then if we refresh this you can see it stretches to to fit everything um, but I'm just using numbers today. I'm not really gonna have content, so I'm not gonna use min max, and I'm not gonna have all this lorem ipsum. But that is a good tip to keep in mind when you're actually using grid on a website with more written content. Okay, so this is what I'm working with here. We're gonna be mainly in this style sheet over here. 
All right, so in our main grid here, let's just jump right into it and justify our items. And remember, justify is left to right. And there are three, well, there's four values. The default value is stretch. That just fills the entire space of the column. Um, the other ones are start, end, and center. So I'll so show you what each one of these look like. So if we justify all our items to the start of their element, you can see they all bump on over here to the left. If we do center, you can see they will all be in the center of their column. And then if we do end, they're all popped over there. Okay. And again, the default is called stretch. So if you need to override a previous style or something, stretch will fill it back out. Align items is very similar. So again, stretch is the standard. We have start, center, and end again, but instead of being side to side, this is up and down. So I'll show you what I mean. Align items start bumps all of them up to the top center centers them vertically which is really handy because that's something that was kind of difficult to do depending on what element you were dealing with previously so grid gives us a nice little align and then end pops down to the bottom and again stretch fills it all up and you can have both of these in play at the same time so let's do justify items start align items end just to be random here you can see these are all at the beginning side to side and at the bottom top to bottom but sometimes you don't want your grid to be uniform all the same we want to have finer control over this right that's where align self and justify self comes in and just as you would expect justify self is just this item moving it side to side within its container here so let's do justify self start. Just this one moves over. And we can apply, you know, a different style, a different justification, if you will, to number two. Let's do end on that one. So there's going to be a big space between these two. See what I mean? Um, I'm just going to give these divs a minimum width here so we can see them a little better while we're playing. And depending what you have in your grid, you'll, of course, have styles set. So they're going to be a size that you can work with. But this is just so we can see our building blocks here. Um, OK, so we have justify self. We can, you know, apply a line self as well. So this one is bumped up, but um, maybe our main um, we've got justify items center and align items center. So everything should be little blocks here. And then you can target them individually to kind of play with them there. I almost want to do a min height. <laughs> Sorry, again, I'm being so nitpicky here, but I want to be able to see our blocks as we move. Okay, I think this is what we want to be doing. So um, let's just do a little justify self on this one. Um, we'll make this one start. So again, only this one moves, everything else is centered. And then let's say we want seven to be over here on the right. We can justify self end and it'll only take out the individual ones you target out of the whole grid that you said. You told it all to be justified center and aligned center, but you could target individual ones and change it. So let's go ahead and do this over here um, just to finish up. So let's put three justify self end and nine justify self start. If we save this got a little effect you know um, I'll have to put together an example on our sample website with all the content to sort of demonstrate how this can be useful for fine-tuning but this is just a little bit of an overview about what you can do with these individual um, 
justifying aligning, positioning things within your grid a lot more exactly than before grid. So it's really great. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, keep an eye out for a more advanced application of these because like I said, I think it would be good to see these in practice in a more practical example. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, remember, I post new videos every Wednesday, so I will see you all next week. Bye, you guys.